news from the Pac-12. We learned this afternoon that the Pac-12 will play football this fall. Yeah, the Pac-12 CEO group, made up of conference chancellors and presidents, voted unanimously to return. Fox 12's Nick Kropke was listening in and joins us. And Krop, I've got a lot of questions. I know you do. What, what do we know tonight? I don't know that we uh, will know necessarily if this is all right or wrong until after they no. attempt to play. We've already seen about 20 college games be postponed in other leagues, larger and smaller. Absolutely. Let them, let them try and see how it goes. So on again, off again, on again. The Pac-12 power brokers have voted for football to return on Friday and Saturday, September, or should say November 6th and 7th. Assuming there aren't postponements or cancellations that would allow for a seven conference game season that includes a league championship matchup before the December 20th selection day for the college football playoffs and those big payout New Year's Day's bowl as well. The Lone Power 5 Football League to not be playing no longer. Six weeks from this weekend, the pack will be back as practice can begin immediately. Rapid antigen testing machines are on campus at all 12 universities for football and beyond. Keep in mind, this impacts the start of the basketball season and other sports, too. As the Pac-12 previously said no one would be competing in anything until after the new year. They could hoop it up along with all other winter sports on November 25th while following local health guidelines. Some schools like Oregon, a preseason number nine nationally in football, sent their guys home weeks ago, while others have been still at least working out on campus. So while a normal 12-game schedule is out of the question and time is out to really catch up with 10, 9, and 8-game schedules from the other big boys in the SEC, Big Ten, Big 12, and SEC, ACC, seven is better than none, assuming these teams and schools can keep the spread to a minimum and no spread in this ever-changing landscape in the times of COVID. And this has been the result of uh, what we said back in August, that we'd follow the science, follow the data, follow the advice from our, our medical experts, and that we know how badly our student athletes want to compete uh, as student athletes for the Pac-12, but that we, we would only do so when we felt that we could do so safely. We're moving forward now but we're not moving forward with our eyes shut. We are going to be paying attention to what's happening. And, you know, if uh, we start getting spikes that suggest that we this is not sustainable, we will just, uh, you know, stop playing. No fans will be allowed at any Pac-12 stadium or arena until at least after the new year when the decision will be revisited. The other postponed fall sports like wrestling, gymnastics, and swimming will begin after January 1st. Now, a proper football schedule will be released in the coming days. Each team will play five games within the division, the North and the South, with one from the other, a crossover game. That seventh would be for the division winners in a title game in the home of the team with that best record. Well, the return of football, good news for those athletic departments that projected to lose about 50 million bucks if there was no football season. Every game, a welcome boon to those departments back on TV, of course, who continued to lay off and furlough employees and contemplate cutting some non-revenue generating sports. Doesn't seem to be the situation at this point now with football back in the picture. Live in studio, Nick Krepke, Fox 12, Oregon. A lot of people excited about that, Nick. Thank you.